The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. Hey everybody, I'm Kahi. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. I'm Takuma Nuva. And welcome to TTV Talks. I actually got that right this time. Yay! To be fair, you weren't... Uh, you can't stop me. My time is now. <laughs> you can't Sorry. see me. My time is now. <laughs> but That's like quiet theme song. I'm watching you. Excuse me. I'm That's what The Undertaker said to John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Actually, that part video of that is one of my ball. favorites. All right. Yeah. Let's get this together. Kahi. Okay. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. All right. How about you? How I'm you doing, doing okay. I'm good. You're doing okay, not good. I'm doing okay, okay. I mean, dude. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. My life recently has been segmented into Metal Gear Solid Five and my breaks. Oh, from Metal tell Gear me Solid about 5. it. Yeah, no, same thing here. But I, you know, very recently I got some interesting news. Like, okay, <laughs> is, so I news. was having a pretty good week, but then I heard right. that apparently Kanye West. <laughs> Is going to run for president oh my God. in 2020. I heard this from I lo- I my dad. It. He just came wait, wait, in. I to love me. It. Have you wait, have wait. you heard about this? This isn't this guy a rapper? Yes. Yeah, this guy's a rapper. He's the guy. Yeah. He came up to Taylor Swift. He's like, I'm gonna let you finish. You know, he married. Yeah, that guy. Is he married guy. to uh, married, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian oh. for some oh, reason. Oh, now I'm already. No, Na- I'm named already. his kid. I am not yes, for freaking this Kim. Guy. Kim Kardashian, the first lady. Freaking Kim Kardashian. Can you believe it? <laughs> I think it? we might have to set up a rebellion up and, and overthrow the president. Oh my god! Can you just pull imagine pull how great a that would be. rebellion like, on this. Kanye, like you know, think of all the presidents that have been. I'm jealous up of until Viper now. right now. And then they're like, yo, and it's freaking Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, our first couple. <laughs> President West, you know, the, See, the it famous... sounds really the cool. <laughs> and then I freaking... President the first West. Lady, first lady, Mrs. West Kardashian. I'd rather have President Adam West. <laughs> I would I would rather have President Adam Sandler. I'd rather, oh, oh, no. No, no and thanks. Listen, Sandler is bland, but he'd be a bland president. All it would Kanye be is, West like, would be bland like, everything be, and, like, it, look, poop Can you uh, imagine Kanye West being president? Everywhere. Ah, it's so horrible. Terrible humor. Right. Oh, my God. I'm going yeah. to go be sick now. Yeah, right, no, yeah. so I, he- I heard Good about luck. this, and then I watched the VMAs. Because apparently that's where he announced it. So I, I right. flipped on the TV, went on my my Comcast bull. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Anyway. I'd um, be sick again, except I can't I anymore. Flip, flipped on MTV, I looked up the VMAs. What do you know? It starts in like two minutes. All right, I'm, wa- I'm going to watch it. Yeah, right, right. So I'm watching it. I saw part of it too, yeah. And um man, man, that was that was a weird award show. I'm just gonna say that right now. No yeah. Oh, award no, shows was, are weird. I don't this, watch TV. But this one in particular well, no, is the really Oscars were okay. I mean the when you have are pretty weird. When you have year. Miley Cyrus as the host, I mean it's bound oh, to be oh. weird. Am I the only one who's not bothered she by Miley Cyrus anymore? She literally she literally came on Can and she I was like she was wearing like this episode? polka dots. <laughs> She was, was she wearing dots. naked no, mocap? She like, she, like, changed her outfit every time she popped on stage, and it, it's like she just took off more articles of clothing each time she came back. Okay. Right, exactly. It was like, I don't know, I, you know, it's just... Anyway. I, I, if I had a time machine, I wish I had a time machine for the sole purpose of going back to, like, 2006 and seeing, like, Hannah Montana and showing everybody these, like, the music video for Wrecking Ball. Like, oh, leaking God. that on, like, 2008 like, YouTube when it first came out. Yeah, no, I have a prophecy of the like, future. When I flip on the TV nowadays and then I see Miley Cyrus hosting an award show and making it all about her weird, like, suggestive themes that I'm not a fan of. 
And right, then, and then like Nicki Minaj calling her out. Oh, for, and then there was that. That was what? That was that was something brutal. That was uh. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, no. No, I saw. I saw that. And then no, finally, I, I don't watch these. The I don't watch the VMAs. I, I don't, okay. Did you say? Finally, you watch it I got to like the part snow, where you know. Kanye West went up on stage. I don't. I think he accepted an award from Taylor Swift. Right. <laughs> Again, which was ironic. Third time. I know. And right? he, he had to you know, mention. It, he's like last time. I yeah, did yeah. Do he something like, I he wasn't proud of. What I thought was yeah. funny was Taylor Swift made like a little a little joke about that. Right. And she said something like, "Oh, well." Say what you want about Kanye West, but he's got the best career of all time, or something like that. <laughs> right. Bull, but whatever. So oh, he yeah. get, he goes up on stage, gets the mic from her. He 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 receives it from her. He doesn't take it from her this time, and he starts talking. He he makes some sort of apologetic speech about what happened at the VMAs a while back with the whole "Oh, I'm gonna let you finish," right, but right, right. and then he's then he announces that he's gonna run for president in 2020, <laughs> and that's where I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with TV now. This is it's not like this guy just TV runs up to microphones or, and has this impulse to shout stupidity. Yeah, it's like <laughs> no. Listen, what? listen. Imagine this. All right. 20, like, 20, 20, 2021, January, Inauguration Day. Kanye West, he has his hand in the Bible, and he's like, I do, you know, he's like, you know, I do so solemnly swear. Then someone else runs the in. United States. No, and then, like, Taylor Swift comes like, hey, Kanye, I'm really happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> but Barack Obama was the greatest black president of all time. <laughs> he does the mic drop. Man, the best. Kanye West, be like, legalizes, like, the greatest. Um, you, like, every, every person gets, like, uh, what's it? Botox A bag of for free. Brownies. <laughs> Uh, Everyone how, gets how free Botox. <laughs> That's there's like, amazing. There's like a law to have that where off. you're forced to keep up with the Kardashians every oh, day. Oh no! You have to well, follow well, I mean, their listen, chariot around America I, on a circuit. I I am not going to lie. <laughs> if Kim Kardashian was the first lady of the United States, I would watch that TV show. I, I like. I would like. What does the first lady do? I would be interested. In that. Even if she does nothing, that's still interesting to me because I don't know what the first lady does. And and even that she doesn't really do does. anything. No, yeah. I mean Michelle that, Obama just make. She made yeah, her school like just smaller. That show. Right? That show that like, they have is like one of the many reality shows fine. where nothing happens. Yeah, literally, they drive from place to place, going, "Oh my god, look at that!" And that, that's literally talking it. and trying to sound all sophisticated and odd. Uh, it, it hurts it, it me makes so me much. Bored. Like it makes at this point in like after watching like while well, putting up with these shows for years, I don't actually watch them. But people and I it's know not, watch them. I was gonna say, yeah, but exactly. like, when it's not TV like was I, actually worth watching. It's not like well, I, I even flip on that. the TV for stuff like this. This is just stuff I hear about. I have family that watch it. Like my mom, she always freaking flips it on for some reason. Alright, you I know mean, what, sure. I'm, I I'm gonna do I'm gonna be on, the man. ultimate devil's advocate. I'm gonna vouch for the Kardashians. Alright? Here, here alright, hear me out. I'm gonna vouch for him. This goes beyond There's, devil's advocate. You hear you hear that silence? <laughs> there that has nothing to be said. You got nothing, Shway. No, listen. There's <laughs> <laughs> no, something to be said about <laughs> vlogging. People like seeing vlogs on YouTube. That's basically kind of the same thing. The, it's someone who lives their life and they kind of, you know, do a little video about their life and people find them entertaining. And I don't find a lot of vloggers entertaining. No, I'll be straight I don't up on that. I find but other people do. And self absorbed. So, in the same deal with the Kardashians, uh, the Kardashians are just vloggers, except they're not on YouTube, they're on cable. And they don't, they don't do it themselves. They have a crew that does it. And that's basically what the Kardashians are. They're like high quality, big budget vloggers. And people enjoy that. I'm not. That doesn't redeem them in terms of the quality of their content. But putting it in a different perspective, they're not just you know just there just because they're there. They're the evolution of vloggers. They're high budget vloggers. I'm, just go I back miss to the old time TV. where yeah, go back to the time where I everyone was just TV. watching Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> is that even is Saturday morning cartoons even a thing? No, 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 it's more like no, an everyday. Thing. Yeah, it's and like in fact, it's been that way for like a long time. Like. I, I know I'm not old enough to appreciate the 90s. I was actually born at the end of the 90s. But I love the 90s. I, I'm an I'm, 80s kid <laughs> by like 20 hours. Huh. I, I miss the old SpongeBob and Recess and Hey Arnold. Oh, I never hey watched Arnold. any of those. Hey Arnold was awesome. 
Yeah, and uh, from... what's it called? Uh, Arthur. Did they really I was just gonna say that? Arthur was like yeah. my okay. okay. Arthur, come on, you got. You, I love Arthur. King, I love the like, song. Dude, I, I have no, I never so really watched meaningful. Arthur. Apparently, I was obsessed with it. I don't remember me being that infatuated with it, but apparently, I was obsessed with Arthur. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was obsessed with Zoom. That's what I watched Zoom. all the time. Freaking oh Zoom! God, I watched like that was Zoom. the whole that was the whole thing of like living in Massachusetts. That was the deal, so that you could be on Zoom. Did, and, like um, they have these auditions and kids would line up, you know. And be, how well can, can you speak up? Uh, but oh, dude, I can speak it so well. How well? I think. Uh, this all right, is like all right, we'll just we'll just have, we'll we'll have a conversation. All right, say something in WW. The Quebec Brabant Fabox jumped over above over the Balabi Zabi Dabag. I'm a Balabi Dabag. I can't remember the song to the Balabi. Then, well, then what do we do? Do I'm dying. <laughs> well, what? Kevin, you know what? I'm double step in, mummy. Google Can doesn't have, have this language. Oh, oh no, I no! If you Viper, here's what you do. If you can't beat him, join him. Rub a dub a dub, dub a dub dub dub. <laughs> in the top, <laughs> rub a dub, <laughs> rub a dub a dub. All right, before this turns into the worst thing we've talked about all time, it's okay. Let's. <laughs> yeah, I think you mean Abba Shabba Gubba. A, a I think you mean rub a dub dub <laughs> in the tub. Okay. It's How many, I don't think, you know, I don't think our audience, like a lot of our audience, wasn't around for that. Okay. They'd be around Quick for, primer like, on how to abby speak abby dubby. It's really simple. Anytime you have a vowel sound in a word, it is you pros, you put an ub in front of it. So loud would be loud. TTV would be tubby tubby vubby. Well, is TTV <laughs> technically a vowel? A vowel sound. Vowels? I literally just said vowel sound. sound. Uh, no, you said vowel. You I, say, vowel I sound. said vowel sound. I'll vote for Kanye West sound. if we can change the, our <laughs> TTV <laughs> yeah. podcast right, well, name <laughs> to Tubby Tubby Vubby. Everyone posts in the comments telling God he's wrong, and I said vowel sound. Um, I did not hear you say vowel sound. Speaking of like, uh, like audition shows or whatever, I remember one show, I think it was an English show, because I never saw like American people in it, but Raven, which is when they had to go through like these like um, fitness trials. I know that's so well. Raven. Mean, yeah. No, no, not that's so <laughs> Raven. So it was Raven. literally called Raven, and like the host of the show, I had like a huge crush on him when I was younger. <laughs> I have not heard of this. He was show. like awesome, and he used to take these kids through these like journeys, like, and they were in like the sun team, the moon team. And they had like water, uh, basically elements and stuff. And the, I, I only saw two people go and finish the final trial. The rest of them was failed. Was it like a game show then? Yeah, sort of. It's like, um, it like kids' a, game like, shows. Okay. Have you ever heard of a oh, total wipeout? I remember wipeout? Slime Time the last Live one, I think it was back like, on Nickelodeon. Fetch. You ever heard of a like, total fetch wipeout? Was the last I have not. I, really uh, I remember when like it's where basically in the world that. I was gonna know where in time version. is Carmen San Diego. No, I saw one in the world. As a kid's game as show? As a kid. Yeah, as a kid's game show. I never, I don't remember where in the world, but I remember never where heard in of time. That. Where in time is Carmen never San that. Diego? It was essentially a history trivia show. There's and, also the cartoon, like, Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego? I loved all the Carmen San Diego stuff. I played all those games as a kid. Yeah, I remember playing the original, Where in the, I think it was just Where in the USA. And, hey, do you know what? Speaking of, like, kid celebrity crushes, that girl from Wishbone. What's her name? Sam? Um, yeah, Sam, Samantha from freaking Wishbone. I don't Dude. remember what she looks like. I, I was, like, obsessed with her when I was, like, a kid. And it's weird to me that Sam is the only one of those characters I can remember the name of. Right. Because exactly. there was, like, three know. of them, right? There's Joe. There's Joe, and then his friend, and I forget his friend, because his friend was just Okay, so I'm going to look her up right friend. now. If she turns out to be ugly, then, uh, Kahi... Oh, this is TTV like, hey, talks kid, about man. objectification. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't deny. It. Uh, I actually. I. I just remember. I actually don't remember exactly what she looks like. I ever. I remember. Okay. Well, just you just go to Google Images and you punch in Wishbone Sam. And I'm gonna it. do that right now. I found. I found her and. Eh, she's okay. I can't get <laughs> over how 90s these pictures look. <laughs> these these pictures are so 90. I'm. So, oh man. I'm so 90. Well, then again, I didn't... My old yeah, definition right. of she's 90s nice television looking. has always been just tuning on to Nickelodeon because I always used to watch Nick back as a kid. Not Like, nothing but... Well, I mean, sometimes I'd tune into Cartoon Network. 
for shows like Courage the Cowardly Dog. <gasps> yes. I used to love that. I yeah. never had that. show used that. to we scare me when I was younger, chicken. but I love it now. Cow and chicken. Ah. Uh, we only forget. had regular oh, for- TV. I- so it was Can't like remember all, what it was else. all like PBS shows. Magic School uh, Bus. Ed, Ed and that's Eddie. the Magic obvious school one bus. that everyone's seen. Oh, Magic man. School Bus. Oh, that's you know, taking it way back. <laughs> you, oh no! If I was taking it way back, I'd be talking about Tailspin and Inspector Gadget. Oh, I remember Inspector Gadget. Duck Tales. Darkwing I Duck. Did, I did not have cable, so I missed. I didn't those. have I, cable I, either. It was always like Fox Nine oh, Kids um, or like PBS. Uh, okay, no, all right. Uh, this is what happened. I I remember this now, and it was so tough to get Magic School Bus too. Because it was also on Fox Nine Kids. The Fox Channel was like at the perfect angle away from my house that I like. I had the you had to go up and hold the antenna. <laughs> <laughs> like freaking nineties kids problems. It'll hold the antenna a certain yep, way if you yep. wanted to see something. No, so we I had to prop it up with like well. duct tape, and then like we had to like, like pull this, this balancing you know, act. Right, they do this balancing act so I could watch freaking school, but and it was always grainy and stuff, and that's why I never watched a lot oh, of Fox yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, that that grain. Fox Nine Kids. Like Actually, if you're having bad reception, or if you're watching a videotape and it would finish, oh, and you had to sit right? and rewind it. I forgot how frustrating I, yeah. those were. <laughs> I was your here parents would that. always get upset. It's like, who didn't rewind the tape before they put oh, it back? Yeah. Right. <laughs> or you get a thing from the library. You get like a videotape from the library. You know, or like you get that real. There's, I remember there's like these bright orange yellow tapes are for some educational TV show. Yeah, the color tapes were always like, whoa. The color tapes, it's not man. Bad. And you like, and there was like a tool you could use to rewind it. Like you put it in this thing. Oh yeah, and, and you it press the button and it's a rewinder. Re- and like <laughs> re- re- rewinded it super quickly. Mm-hmm. Remember that. I remember okay. one time oh, not- I hated this one movie, so I pulled out all the tape from the thing. Wait, it was it, like, yeah, no. Wow. I remember, my, what? My, <laughs> man, I remember like there is a uh, my sister had a tape. It was some kids like stupid kids music thing on the cassette tape. I got so mad at her one day. I just ripped the, all the tape out of the cassette. Oh man, <laughs> I just remembered. Okay, did any of you guys ever have? I don't know if you'd call it a movie, maybe. Did you ever have the Duplo movie? Duplo, Duplo movie? movie? What the it heck? Was, it, it was like a, it was like three short, it was like three short, Um, uh, I don't know if you'd call them little mini movies or whatever, they were kind of connected, but you had these kids who would be building things out of Duplo, and the narrator would be telling you what's happening, and it would show, not, um, not like stop motion, but it was almost like a puppeteering show where something off screen would be like moving these Duplo creations around. There there was one about Marvin the Monkey. Uh, there was one about like a two-headed giant that couldn't agree on anything. I can't remember what the last one was. What? Yeah, there was like a legitimate Duplo movie thing. Oh man, I've got to figure out where. You know, the, oh, did you watch, I only watched like one or two episodes and I forgot they're about. There was a the first, I feel, or I remember the first Lego TV show wasn't it like Jack Stone or something? Yeah. Like this dude who could build stuff. I found it. It's his, called Duplo Adventures. Duplo Adventures. Never, heard, never even comprehended. We, we have that got video, to watch this at some point. I this was one of my favorite things to watch because we have literally you know like the big Rubbermaid totes. We've got like yeah. three of those full of Duplo. <laughs> Duplo, yeah, I have, I had a lot of Duplo. I, I, I never had Duplo. When I was a kid, I always used to get just, you know, the, the, um, the generic system stuff. Right. And I never yeah, started yeah, off yeah, with like Duplo. Space and stuff. Yeah, I, no, I, actually, I started out, um, I started out with the hardcore stuff. I actually played with uh, Connect, uh and uh, what are they Connect, called? Solvanian families, like those little, like little animalistic humanoid. Things with I think houses. That might be a British thing. They were so I, cute. I, really, I spent I've my entire life that. looking after them. Was that was that a, was that a, is that a British thing? I don't think. Oh, we, I don't, I don't know actually. Up? Like you can put like dresses on them and stuff. Like now it's like oh, really strange. Well, <laughs> but, maybe maybe it's maybe the reasons why is that wasn't our target audience. That's why I don't remember it. Yeah, you, I, I mean you 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 were boys. It was it was aimed for girls. So, what was your favorite? Okay, I mean, like, yeah, the only girl uh, thing gender I liked. roles, yada yada yada. What What was your favorite like girl toy? Uh, what was your What was your like your? I think Sylvania yeah. Family. Polly was, Pockets. Honestly. I think. 
freaking Polly Pockets, man. My sister oh, had so yeah. many freaking Polly Pockets. I remember having them and I lost all their clothes. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. And you have to deal with social <laughs> unacceptability because you're naked. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, Polly Pocket, Pocket, even though you, like, one. you don't have to fake that smile for me. It's okay. Did any of you, did any of you guys have the... Bo- <laughs> I know we're trailing off of TV shows, but whatever. Yeah. Did any of you guys have the board game Pretty Pretty Princess? No. Nope. The obje- It was no. a simple board game where you moved your pieces around the board, and the, basically the idea was to get a full set of jewelry of one color, like a ring and a necklace and a bracelet and a crown or something like that. And then there was a black ring that was bad and you weren't supposed to have it. I always went for the black ring. <laughs> oh, of course. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> And watch oh, the show. I, the, no, oh man! No, me and my, my me, I still watch my friends recently. play Yu-Gi-Oh every now and then. <laughs> well, your friends still play Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, they, there was a thing in a while. Um, <laughs> I mean, I say that I'm still on a Bionicle team. Yeah, so I don't it, know why it, I'm yeah. saying that. <laughs> in my college, my group of friends, they like we all got into a Yu-Gi-Oh fad, so we all started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and we used to sit at lunch and watch all of us play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it was the best. I never had enough. And then, and then everyone dropped, like nearly everyone dropped out, <laughs> and there's only a couple of us left, you, so... Okay, you know what's, like, absurdly expensive? I, I did not realize was that absurdly expensive. What's that? Dolls. Dolls oh, yeah. are crazy expensive. Yeah, I didn't, they like, my, expensive. my sister had these dolls as a kid, and I remember, like, my parents didn't like to buy toys, that's why I didn't get into Bionicle for quite yeah, a while. Yeah, I only got, like, two Bionicle sets per year. Right. Like... And, like, I was looking at, my, like, saw how much these dolls cost, like... Like, when my sister was a kid, she loved the, what's it, American Girl. I don't know. I've said this before. I know too much, like, about American Girl stuff. But, um, like, they cost, like, hundreds of dollars. Yeah, after watching then Small there's... Soldiers, I never want to collect dolls, ever. Oh, my God. And there's, like, there's, uh, there's like, they have, like, a hospital. I, I was looking at this because uh, uh, one of my, like, a friend of mine has a younger sister. And so I was, you know, I was just with the younger sister, and she was like showing me the stuff in the catalog. And I was like, "Oh, cool!" And I looked at the price, and I was like, "What the? <laughs> what? I can't pay like is it if I if I had to go if I had to buy a video game, and the video game cost a hundred and twelve dollars, I'd be like, I'm just not playing this video game. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I don't care how good it is. I'm not paying a hundred and twelve dollars. And for that's one video, video game. Freaking hundred ten, hundred twelve dollars for Oops. like this freaking Felicity doll." Oh, like, for like the American Girl It's like seventeen seventy five. Yeah, American Girl dolls. Yeah, American Girl dolls, man. I, so I must have seen them. Felicity. Or there's uh, there's like um, there's um, hold on, let me remember the movies. There's like Molly. There's like the Abby, the black girl who's a slave, and then there's um. Uh, <laughs> no, the idea of the story oh, is that she was ones. fighting for I was thinking like yeah, the little one. Barbie yeah, doll yeah, 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 ones. Um, there's like okay, what? what, what there's, oh yeah, um, they're they're hard. The I don't like them either. They're creepy. I don't like the baby Annabelle babies and things like that. You know when you like turn their heads down and their their eyes shut. Like, d- does anyone know what they oh, are? I don't you know. know yeah, like, I know like, what you're talking about. You put about. their heads oh, down and they shut the their eyes, and when you put them back up, their oh, eyes I open. Know, I do. Oh, I, I hear that. Them. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I used to see those a lot. Like I, I don't like I, those. I slept around my friend's house once, and she had tons of them, and like. Th- I remember waking up and I hearing this like croaky like sound of one of their sound uh, batteries oh, going man. off in the box and I had to like turn it off manually because it wouldn't stop crying and it was so freaky. I just Ugh. yeah, no. No, you know, okay. textbook like horror that. story right there. It was man, freaky. Like one of his eyes that was Twilight broken. Zone episode? That Twilight Zone Look episode dirty. with the doll that kills people? Like that kills the dad because like the dad's really mean to his daughter? And like it's like Tiny Tina is the name of that doll. It's a Twilight Zone episode, and it is legitimately one of the scary. Well, well, not right now, I guess. But like when I saw it as a kid, I was like, "This is the scariest thing I've ever seen." It's not really. It's not like a gory thing or anything. It's just so it's creepy. creepy. Yeah, I remember the... someone telling me a story about a doll that took revenge on like the the owner because they left them somewhere. And for the, since the when I was Toy a kid, I just would make sure it. <laughs> It was, like, left in the car for, like, months, and then one night it, like, got out and killed the entire family. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, and I, I was just like, 
That's like Chucky, and you, right? Yeah, That's when like you're a kid, you take that Chucky. seriously. So every time I was like with my toy, like with my toys or stuff, I feel really bad if I like left I remember them somewhere. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, sorry, Ben, you, you're first. Oh uh, yeah, I just remember hearing a similar story about some Pinocchio doll that also had the same feature about the opening and the closing of the eyes, or whatever, and something like, um, when when you press on it. It's supposed to say, I want to be a real boy. Well, apparently, like, in the... Uh, this kid, like, pressed the button one day, and then, um... It it said the line, but it said it, like... It, it got all demented halfway through, so, it said, so instead of sounding... Like, no, it, it, ended up, it ended up sounding like, I want to be a real boy. It's or something Ultron. like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all gone. It's like you possess oh, Pinocchio. I've got no <laughs> Another w- detail, I think, was like uh, they took like a thermometer or something, at, or um, like a mood ring or something that like apparently showed that the doll, um, instead of being cold, actually had some uh, its own warmth to it. That's creepy. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about, but uh, dude, the the Elmo. Scary. Did you guys did you hear about the Elmo? Is this like no. turning into like a creepy pasta kind of episode? <laughs> no, dude. There was an Elmo. I remember reading about this. Wasn't there? There's an Elmo that like it was supposed to. It was an Elmo that like you would say your name into it, and it would record your name, and then it would like say your name back. So it was, it's like, not like a tickle me name. Elmo or something. Kind of, yeah, like a tickle me kind of thing. And so this kid pressed it, and this kid's name was James. And Elmo says like, "Kill James, kill James." <laughs> and the kid was like freaking <laughs> out. Oh no. I don't know, like, um, let me see what else. There was, like, an, where he was, like, oh, he'd be like, uh-oh, who wants to die? Oh, okay. yeah, I remember that. And uh, so, I just remembered another show I used to watch, Goosebumps, am I right? Oh, yeah. Never watched it. Never read any of the books. <laughs> Don't know anything nope. about it. Don't know anything about it. I remember Wait, a really? show about a lighthouse. Yeah. Uh, like they're doing a movie about it. They're doing they're doing well, a new, uh, uh, ghost, ghost, uh, not maybe. ghost, Goosebumps movie. yeah. I know about that, which is going to be cool. But yeah, no, they, they, they used to have um, they used to have a TV series that was based on the the books. Each episode was based on a different book. Yeah, I remember watching that. Yeah, I, I remember watching. I remember the some maggots one where that guy collected tons of maggots, and then they're like they they oh, okay. turn into like I think it turned into like the worm that walks, which was scary. Like a hand came out of, like the bunch of maggots. I was like. Ah! <laughs> What is that? You know, one of the well, scariest things. Well, that was my reaction as a kid. <laughs> one of the one of the scariest things I remember watching as a kid was actually a specific episode of The Little Rascals that had a giant. Hmm. hmm. Please tell me I'm not the only one who watched The Little Rascals. You uh, might, you be. might I've be. Never I've heard never heard of watched it. it. You've never. Yeah. Yeah. The black and white. With the it was nope. all yep. kids. Beyond my Actually, time. No, as a kid, as a kid, I'm not I talking hated about the, anything that was black and white. I really no, did. I'm not talking about the stupid movies they've done since. Then. I'm talking about the original Little yeah, Rascals. Yeah, where nah, it was a bunch never of kids watched it. Black and, I never watched it. Wow. I used to care about things being in black and white too. Those are some of the oh. best. Are hilarious. I used to be very picky oh, about man. how a show looked. Yeah, yeah me too. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I used to be exactly the same. If the show looked God, too old, I didn't old. watch it. I, I like I hated watching. Yeah, it. I remember. Like, like and, uh, I loved watching Looney Tunes. Okay, Looney my, Tunes my dad got me into that, so I could jam. Yeah, like I, I loved watching that kind of animation, but anything older right. or anything like modern that just looks weird, I wouldn't really watch. Like most of my childhood was watching Bugs Bunny, Woody Woodpecker, Tom and Jerry, Little Rascals, because that's what we had recorded. Tom and like, Jerry, and Bugs Bunny, and Tom and Jerry was and Jerry. always entertaining for me. Tom and Jerry as a kid is the funniest thing. Yeah. No matter what, like it's like a magic thing for kids because every episode there's no like there's no there's no words, so you don't have to like even understand. How to like? Yeah, exactly. Talk. Which is one you just. But freaking you Jerry, get, you know, dude, freaking you need to get caught yeah. already. Okay, I gotta yeah, ask. Man. I gotta ask. Who watched the Tom and Jerry movie? Me. Oh my god, no! Don't I was talk to me so that freaked movie. out. They, get, they talk. Such they talk. A beautiful and then, word. And they sing, and I was like, "What am I watching?" I, I was like, just like, "Nope, so don't want to watch this." Like, so I like bad. Tom and Jerry, but this is not the Tom and Jerry I was looking for. Oh, I remember seeing like those knockoff Disney films back when you're a kid. You don't know what's good and what isn't. Yeah, direct, and so direct like, to movie like, or whatever. Aladdin, like Aladdin two and Aladdin three. 
Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah like Pocahontas We had the too. first and the third. Well, we didn't have the know. second. But you, do you mean like... like all like, this crap, like Cinderella 2 or um, uh, Beauty and the Beast 2. Uh, yeah, do you mean like little, movies oh, from Mermaid Disney too. that are like sequels all, yeah. that are from a different it's, studio? Yeah, but like, it's all direct, the direct-to-home like, direct video stuff. Right, direct-to-budget. Yeah, direct I remember... To budget um, and, yeah, I recently watched Pocahontas 2 and was like... Oh, no. People yeah, keep telling honestly, me there was a Mulan 2, but it's more historically accurate, but I don't want to look for a historically accurate movie from Disney. I want to see... The the lovely you know romance thing that we're getting on. You the want first to act one. to the characters. <laughs> yeah, and then they well, like have know, this Twilight esque yeah. love triangle, and I'm like, why is this in? Here? Well, okay, you know what? To be fair, to be fair, that's what Pocahontas' life was actually like. Like, yeah, Pocahontas that's what I mean. It's more historically actually, accurate. Pocahontas' yeah. actual life did like, not involve you know, talking trees. To trees, I know, I get that. It's stupid. Or, uh, I, I actually like, liked I actually Pokemon this, like the first about one. A ago, like about a month ago, about a month ago, my like friend, it. my friend left for college, so we sat down and we watched Mulan, which I I'd never Such watched good, until then. You'd never seen Mulan. Before. Mulan's I've never seen too. Mulan until that is one Mulan of my all time favorite Disney movies. M- Mulan's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, one of my I favorite like Disney movies well. too. It's amazing. I was I was amazed how much I really enjoyed that. It's so good. I I really like Atlantis. Look, I grew up with Atlantis. Will I just wa- I just harm. rewatched Atlantis today. Did you? No, you know I haven't seen Atlantis. Uh, I haven't seen that, and I wanted to as a kid. I only I also wanted to see Treasure Planet. Yeah, I, I like. I it. just Treasure rewatched. I had never seen last week. either of those until What'd recently. You think of I them? watched Treasure Planet while I was sick over like Christmas, and I watched uh, Atlantis around the same time. I really enjoyed watching Treasure Planet again. Like mm. uh, I watched it uh, last week for like the first time in like years, and I thought it was I thought it was really cool. Man, the animation. That they had back then, like the 2D art. I miss 2D animation so much. Hand drawn. That 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 stuff. That stuff is so underrated. It's it so really good. Is. Does I, anyone I love remember 2D the animation. 3D animation that was in Aladdin? Oh yeah, like yeah. the tiger head. Like, never it's never like, it's like Aladdin. The, it's like the first person view where he's like going through the tunnels trying to escape from the Cave of Wonders. There's actually a segment that's like 3D animated and it's like so crude. Yeah, yeah I remember the, the tiger was sort of kind of 3D look like the tiger head. Like, you know, the thing, the, the entrance. Oh, yeah. yeah, it looked well, kind of 3D as well. Bit. Treasure I Planet think it was, had a though. good bit of 3D animation yeah. in it, too, for, like, a, a couple of things. Yeah. A lot of those films did, like, back in that early day when they were trying to figure out how to do sets in 3D, or, you know, in 2D. Mm-hmm. I will, there is a lot, I feel, that 3D animation has to offer. Uh, but I do miss traditional yes. 2D animation. I, I like both Agreed. of them, but I just, I miss 2D more because it's never around mm-hmm. anymore. Right. You, know I mean? you never see, see that, that anymore. It's yeah. Last, the, yeah. The, the, it's also, the last it's one I saw was The Princess and the Frog. I was going to say, that was kind yeah. of the big thing about The Princess and the Frog, which honestly, to me, as a movie, I wasn't Yeah, it was impressed. okay. I got like, bored halfway through it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta find the wizard break the spell. It was, it's funny because <laughs> if they did Frozen, if they did Frozen as a 2D movie, you think it would have been as successful? Mm, I don't know. I have no idea. Think, yeah. not. At this like, point, I'm out. wishing oh. Frozen just hadn't been su- successful. Oh uh, no! I'm, I'm really glad of Frozen. No, I'm glad not that, worth like, it to me at this point. Yes, it's 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 completely worth it. It was a good I'm glad movie, but that not kids, worth all this. Like five year old kids have their Lion King thing now. Because yeah. for like for you know for our generation, The Lion King was like that really big, really well you know that movie everybody knew the songs to all of us you know and like that was the big animated tentpole of our childhood all time some other stuff and we've lost that. There's no more Disney esque film. We have a lot of great Pixar films which are never level for themselves, but those are like kind of a lot more artsy and a lot more like conceptual. You know, like they they're all like weird awesome concepts like what if you know you're inside of your mind could have their own personalities that can talk and that, that kind Ooh. of thing but it's not like classic Disney stuff and I'm glad that like we did this thing and now Frozen's out and, and all the kids who were like four or five when Frozen came out that's gonna be the movie they remember they'll be on podcasts you know ten years from now uh, talking about oh yeah I remember Frozen you know coming out as a kid man Frozen was great we we're experiencing the thing where we hate it because it's popular. Right I mean, now. I don't and, hate you know, it. It's, it's like, just I miss two D. Speaking like, of another two D yeah. movie, Prince of Egypt. 
Oh my oh, god. Oh, it was so good. Oh, man. I was just thinking about it. I was like, how did even... I miss Tears. that? I... Okay, correct me, because just so I want to, I want to know if I'm thinking about the right movie, because I only ever, I th- ever, I, just, I, think I think it's only it's saw it once, it and I only saw it thing. once in theaters, and that was who knows how many years ago. Is it the one with the guy who's obsessed with his teeth? No. Maybe I'm it's about the a one with movie. Moses. It's Moses. We should. It's Moses. We should no, definitely I'm thinking, I'm where like, of like uh, the King and Me or something like that. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. We you should definitely no, have it's, another it's TTV talks just about old movies because I feel oh, like we man. could go on for a bit about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really King could. of Dreams. Okay. Then, Joseph, then I can talk about Emperor's New Groove. But anyway, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, but it is time we've Greatest gone on kind of long. We got to wrap this up. Okay, I just want to ask one last question, just kind of bring things into perspective. Because, you know, that was, we're talking about the days of, like, VHS and stuff, and now it's all right, Blu-rays. Right, right. I want to know, what was the first DVD movie any of you guys, any of you guys oh, ever had in your house? I have yeah. no I clue. I think okay. it was. I remember this. The very first DVD you guys had in that house, in your household. Finding Nemo. Yeah, I think was mine was either was Finding, Finding Nemo, Nemo or The Incredibles. And I think I it was Finding The Incredibles, Nemo. actually, yeah. They had the Finding Nemo had this thing on a DVD. They had the behind the scenes featurette, mm-hmm. and I've watched as a kid. I was I really loved animation. I've watched the behind the scenes featurette for every Disney. Yeah, movie. Yeah, I used to watch or behind the scenes for Pixar everything. I was just interested. Even no, I Bionicles. Don't, I really don't remember, but I know it must have been one of those kind of movies, like a Pixar movie or right. something. I just I distinctly remember ours because it was one my sister got for like Christmas, I think, and it was the Princess uh, the Princess Diaries. No, oh, God. the one of Anne Hathaway. Yep. Oh man. Yep. I remember that. We finally got a DVD player. It's like, oh man, DVD. What did? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, was... Another thing I Stan used... Lee cameos in that. Do you know that Wait. Stan Lee is a cameo in the Princess, Princess Diaries? Diary what is he on the Marvel trolley movie. or something? We actually <laughs> no, no. Like my... you actually, you see it with Stan Lee, and he's like, he's he shakes like, uh, you know, uh, what's her name, Anne Hathaway's hand. He's like, oh, thank you, Your Majesty. And I'm like, what? What Stan Lee? What was Stan Lee doing in the set of Princess well, Diaries? Maybe it was just uh, passing yeah, by, and they were like, "Hey, could it was you like wanna... <laughs> a Marvel adaption. It was like the the first. They Marvel were like movie filming the Marvel the movies, Diaries. and they were like the same place. They were like, "Hey, would you like?" <laughs> and to, then like, she wound up bed as a DC person instead. Well, I mean, you know, those kind of things happen all the time. You know, Wolverine was nearly in Spider Man, uh, but they just couldn't find the costume. And he was on the set and everything, and they're just like, "Oh, we can't find that costume anywhere." And he's like, "Well, sorry, guys. <laughs> Bye." <laughs> As well, that was nearly shared universe. Yeah, Hugh Jackman was nearly on uh, Tobey Maguire. Really? Spider-Man. Nice. He was nearly yeah. on Tobey Maguire. All right then. Wow. Oh, on that note, we should, uh, on that note, we're gonna Shipping. we're gonna say goodbye. We're gonna say goodbye, everybody. Uh, vote for Kanye West president twenty twenty. Don't. We'll see you back with another great episode of TTV Talks. I'm Kahi. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. I'm Tukumanuha. And I already said we'll see you back, so I don't know why I said that before the intro Goodbye. as opposed to after it. Professionality! Awkward! Woo! Um, Vessel shirts, message oh, yeah. boards. Hey, no. Watch uh, the vessels go and get wire shirts. Vessel the message shirts. Boards. Audible message um, boards. Audible. You should listen to, uh, I'm listening to Console Wars. It's great. Do that. Okay, cool. we're done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ciao.